Factsverse presents Terrifying Animals You Are So Glad Are Extinct Number 1. Pelagornis sandersi This is what scientists believe to be the largest flying bird that ever existed. <coughs> That title belongs to the Argentavis. Sure, the Pelagornis has a longer wingspan, but it doesn't mean it's larger. It has a wingspan of up to 24 feet. Which is quite liberal. I mean, it's possible, but a conservative estimate was put at 21 feet. These birds were most commonly found over the ocean. So I tried to delete this freeze frame, but... Uh, yeah, I can't, so I'm gonna have to stick with it. They got around by jumping off cliffs and allowing the wind currents to take them and keep them in flight. Number 2. Euphobaria eh, It's just a giant centipede. I think I'm sure I'll be fine. This creature is very similar to the modern centipede that we see today. The only difference is that this creature is over three feet long. That equates to over 90 centimeters, which is just ridiculous. The largest species of Euphoberia reach just one feet long. The centipedes of today prey on birds, bats, and snakes. While it is not known what the Euphoberia ate, however, considering its size, there are many things that these creatures would have been capable of feasting on. Number 3. Gigantopithecus This creature lived around 9 million years ago around Asia. Which is just completely bogus. This creature is what scientists believe to be the largest ape on Earth. They could grow up to 10 feet tall. The text says 100,000 years ago. There used to be apes that are over 9 feet tall. Gigantopithecus, you mean, right? Gigantopithecus was already gone for around 200,000 years. And they could weigh up to 1,200 pounds. Even that overestimate made by Zhang Yingqi and Harry Harrison, uh, 440 to 660 pounds. That's still an overestimate. 1,200 pounds is just completely crazy. They are believed to have walked on all fours the way that modern gorillas or chimpanzees do. Some scientists believe that they walked with a bipedal or human-like locomotion. There is not actual proof of who is correct. A truly great ape, King Kong around 7.5 meters when in reality it's over 100 meters tall. The way the animal's teeth and jaws are constructed, they were able to chew very tough and fibrous foods by crushing, cutting, or grinding it down. These creatures were likely not a creature that you would want to happen upon in the jungle. Number 4. Androsarchus Scientists believe that these animals existed between 36 and 45 million years ago. The time range is a bit too broad. Where are you getting all this from? They were a giant carnivorous mammal. Based on a skull and several of the animal's bones that were found, scientists believe that this animal weighed up to 4,000 pounds. They also believe that this animal was the largest land-dwelling mammal ever. Terrestrial animal. Have you ever heard of elephants before? They're several times larger than the Androsarchus. Scientists don't really understand the behavioral patterns of the animal. However, they believe that they might have been omnivores or scavengers. We don't really know, but it's more likely a carnivore. And it's also a predator when it needed to. The Androsarchus is a predator and a scavenger when it needed to be. Number 5. Pulmono Scorpius. This is one of the most frightening creatures that ever existed. They're not seeing T Rex right now. Its name means breathing scorpion. It is believed that this creature lived between 330 and 345 million years ago. Hate to burst your bubble, but no. Fossils from this animal were found in Scotland, and scientists believe that it could grow up to 30 inches long. Okay, so a large fragmentary specimen has been estimated to be around 70 centimeters, aka 28 inches long and alive. The only portions preserved were the outer portions of the cuticle. Fortunately, this creature wasn't very dangerous to humans. 
Scientists believe that it fed mainly on tetrapods and arthropods. Number 6. Megalania One thing I'll commend facts first for is the fact that these misinformation stuff, they are short compared to bright side, and they also get some stuff correct, I guess. Megalania is a giant lizard that lived around 30,000 years ago. It went extinct like 40,000 years ago. Also, didn't it also live from one and a half million? Scientists believe that it is native to southern Australia. You call the Condamine River part of South Australia? This means that the first settlers in Australia may have had a few run-ins with this lizard. If someone did, it could have been extremely terrifying, as they likely grew to be as long as 25 feet. Even a higher estimate of Megalania's length is 23 feet, but the fragmentary nature of no remains makes estimates highly uncertain. If this is correct, the Megalania would be the largest terrestrial lizard to have ever existed. Number 7. Helicoprion Helicoprion This prehistorical creature lived between 250 and 310 million years ago. Dude, the range isn't that broad. This creature resembles the shark, but it has a terrifying mouth. Its teeth were arranged in spiral clusters called tooth whorls. They can grow up. Also, your depictions of Helicoprion are either outdated or just straight up ridiculous. At least the third picture out of all four of them is accurate. To 13 feet long. You mean 14 to 16 inches? 13 feet is uh, 4 meters, which is Helicoprion is just absolutely ridiculous. Helicoprion reached 5 to 8 meters in length. You know, its tooth whorl cannot be that long. Like, how, how would it be that long, bro? Making them a creature that you would never have wanted to run into while scuba diving. The very appearance of the shark alone is enough to make you drop from a heart attack. Number 8. Antelodon This prehistoric creature was very strange looking. It was a pig-like mammal. In fact, it is more closely related to hippos than pigs. It had a very major appetite for meat. I could forgive fats first for being outdated because the study found that Antelodon had an omnivorous diet similar to that of wild boar was made in 2022. Even though it was standing on all fours, it was still as tall as a man. No, actually, it's a bit shorter. It was one of the most monstrous-looking creatures to have ever existed. Dude, you should treat it more like an animal and less like a monster, just saying. Scientists believe that this animal was also cannibalistic. If they could not find prey, they would prey on each other. This makes them very unique and even scarier. Number 9. Animalocaris This sea creature was native to the Cambrian Seas. Its name means abnormal shrimp, and it was closely related to ancestral arthropods. Well, it is an arthropod. According to scientists, it was a predator that fed mostly on hard-bodied sea creatures. They were easily able to spot their prey because they had 30,000 lenses in each eye. Correction, they only had 16,000 lenses on each eye, which is less than a dragonfly which has 28,000 lenses for each eye. They had the most advanced eyesight of any species or creature to ever exist. Well, during their time on planet Earth, at least. Number 10. Meganura It is believed that this creature lived during the Carboniferous period. It resembles the dragonflies that we see today. However, it was quite a bit larger. It had a wingspan of up to 26 inches. It is considered one of the largest species of flying insects to ever live on Earth. If you were to see this creature today, you wouldn't need to worry. It has a diet that consists of small amphibians and other insects. The video's title is called 19 Terrifying Animals You're Glad Are Extinct. The fact that you said that this is not terrifying along with Mona Scorpius just makes this video a bit clickbaity, not gonna lie. Number 11. Atercopus This was a relatively frightening looking creature. 
It resembled a spider and had a tail that resembled scorpions. For many years, scientists believed that this was the prehistoric ancestor of the modern spider. When scientists discovered the fossil, they started to rethink their original ideas. They believe now that while this creature didn't spin webs, it may have used silk to wrap its eggs until they hatched. They also believe that this creature lived underground and burrowed walls to build their homes. You know what? I'm glad that the dude actually did some research on, like, right <clears throat> because I don't really see anything wrong with this. Number 12. Dinosuchus this is a terrifying creature that was related to the modern crocodile and alligator. They are believed to have lived between 73 and 80 million years ago. I mean, they also lived 82 million years ago. This mistake is forgivable. While the creature looked just like today's species, they were much larger. They could grow up to 40 feet long and over 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds for a dinosuchus is just ridiculously light. And I'm more inclined to believe that Dinosuchus is 10.64 meters, aka 30.9 feet long. 1,000 pounds for Dinosuchus is just way too small. What made the creatures even more terrifying is that it had very large, sharp teeth, and it was capable of killing and eating sea turtles and even large dinosaurs. Number 13. Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus. Man, it's not difficult to pronounce it correctly. This creature lived during the late Devonian period, between 360 and 380 million years ago. In reality, it lived 382 to 358 million years ago. So, minor mistake, this is forgivable. It was a hypercarnivorous fish. What made this creature so terrifying is its amazing size. It could grow to be 33 feet and could weigh close to four tons. It's just the upper estimate. The 20, a 2023 study argued that large estimate sizes of Dunkleosteus were overestimates. An alternatively proposed a maximum length of 4.1 meters, aka 13 and a half feet for the largest known specimen, aka CMNH5936. It was a heavily armored fish, and it was a very strong swimmer. At the time, it was a very fierce predator. Just the size of its mouth alone made it able to suck its predators in whole. You mean prey? Number 14. Spinosaurus. You're showing a completely different dinosaur. What you're showing looks more like a Cacarodontosaurid than a Spinosaurid. This creature was bigger than the T-Rex. It's longer than the T-Rex, but it's smaller. Do I have to say it like a billion times already? the most well-known and feared dinosaur. It was a carnivorous dinosaur. You're now showing that spino outdated design, and also it's more a piscivore than anything. And it could grow to be 59 feet tall. 59 feet tall. Let's do some math. The real-life Spinosaurus is around 14 feet tall, 43 feet long. Now we're going to do this equation. So if the dude said that the Spino is 59 feet tall, that means that the dude is implying that the Spino is 181 feet long, which is, although not as long as the 273 foot Spino from Monsters Resurrected, is still completely and utterly bogus, ridiculous, and crazy. And weigh up to 10 tons. It probably would have been closer to 7. This creature ate fish turtles, and other dinosaurs. Its conical teeth probably couldn't crunch through a turtle shell, and it's also not meant to hunt dinosaurs. That is the Cacarodontosaurus' job. If this creature were still ARK is one of the worst sources for education. Alive today, chances are the human population would become extinct. No, like, humans will find a way to deal with Spino. Humans are very intelligent. Number 15. Smilodon. This creature lived in North and South America around 2.5 million years ago. Did it also live all the way to 10,000 years ago? It lived during the Pleistocene Epoch period. It is the best known example of the saber-toothed cat. At least the dude says it's a saber-toothed cat, not a saber-toothed tiger. 
It had extremely large and sharp upper canines, which made it very easy to catch and eat its prey. It had very well-developed forelimbs and could weigh as much as 900 pounds. You're implying that only to the Smilodon populator. Smilodon fatalis was smaller. It is the last thing you would want to happen upon if you were walking through a field. Number 16. Quetzalcoatlus Every paleontologist pooed their pants and were like, no, I'm out, after they heard you pronounce Quetzalcoatlus this wrongly. This creature was one of the largest creatures ever to fly, with a wingspan of up to 40 feet. More conservative estimates put it at a little more than 33 feet. The size and mass of the birds were extremely huge. What? They're not birds? Birds are dinosaurs? These are pterosaurs. There was no creature that shared a similar size or body plan back then. Have you forgotten about a Ramborghania? And there is still no other creature that shares it today. Of all its unusual characteristics... Have you also forgotten, like, Hatsugotrix, Cryodracon, all of them, including Quetzalcoatlus, are part of the Asdarkids. Although, to be fair, the Quetzalcoatlus is more slim compared to the Hatsugopteryx. Also, you're only talking about Quetzalcoatlus Northropi. Quetzalcoatlus Lawsonai's wingspan is just around 17 to 18 feet. Its long, very stiff neck made it the most unique. Number 17. Hallucigenia Scientists decided on the name Hallucigenia because the creatures are so strange and they look like something from a dream, almost like a hallucination. It was a worm-like creature which was around two inches long. Two inches long? Man, you could just step on it. It's not terrifying at all. And that's just the upper estimate. The lower estimate is not even a quarter of an inch. Its head did not have any sensory organs like nose or eyes. It has testicles on each side of its body and three sets of tentacles behind the testicles. Number 18. Short-Faced Bear This bear could be found in North America during the Pleistocene period around 11,000 years ago. Okay, so it went extinct 12,000 years ago. That mistake is forgivable. But have you forgotten that it also lived from two and a half million years ago? He is the most recent creature on our list. Good job, you made Smilodon cry in a corner. His size showed that he truly was prehistoric. When standing on his hind legs, he could be 12 feet tall. You get that from JFC? That's too tall. Uh, 8 to 10 feet is more reasonable. His arms could reach out to 14 vertical feet. Okay, so judging by the anatomy, it's more likely that it reached 12 to 13. The weight estimation of this bear is over 3,000 pounds. Even the largest hypothetical size of 2,600 pounds is smaller than this. Number 19. Titanoboa This horrifying creature lived between 58 and 60 million years ago. It is the longest, largest, and heaviest snake to ever be discovered. Scientists believe that this snake could grow up to 42 feet. Which is an estimate in 2009, which for me is okay. 2013 is even longer at 47. However, I'm more inclined to believe a Titanobo is around 43 to 45. And weigh over 2,500 pounds. Which is the mean estimate. It had the ability to crush and devour giant crocodiles and turtles. Subscribe for more. Okay, so yeah, that's how this video ends. Okay, facts first. I'm disappointed. If you don't know anything about paleontology, just don't make a video on paleontology. You'll just get yourself clowned on by uh, some crazy people. Please don't leave any negative comments on facts first, okay? Uh, don't. Don't do that. It will get me banned. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all next time. <laughs>